Hi, this is Sean. And this is Tim. We're here to go through this problem um, with a shaded region. So Tim, do you want to tell Kara what this problem is all about? Yeah, so in the problem, you see that there's a rectangle, and inside of the rectangle, there are two circles. The shaded region is the region that are outside the circles, but inside the rectangle, and so, that's what we want to find. So you're saying we're trying to find this and this, right? All this stuff, the shaded region, it's like between, right? The circles and the... Right, that's correct. So what would you do first, Tim? So first I would find the dimensions of the rectangle so I can find the area of the whole thing. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we know the radius of one of the circles is 7. And if you draw the radius straight down and straight up on a circle, we know they're both 7, so the diameter is 14. So that's 14, and, that's, and then it's 14 here as well, right? Right. What about this other long side? Well, since we, there are two circles and the circles are touching, that's what tangent means, they touch at one point. Then we know that there's two diameters in the length of the rectangle. So, so it's seven and seven, sorry about my handwriting here, seven and another seven. Right. So all together, what do we do? What do we have here? We have four times seven, which is 28 as the length. Okay, so what's your next step here, Tim? Well, next step is to find the area of the whole thing, which is the rectangle. And we find the area by multiplying the length times the width which is 14 times 28, and that's um, something. Something. <laughs> Let's figure it out. So we get 28 by 14. I'm going to use this boring algorithm. 4 times 8 is 32, I believe, and 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Placeholder, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 2 is 2. And I'm getting 392, is that right? That's right. Yeah. It, looks, it looks right. Okay, right. so that's 392. Mm -hmm. What's the next step, Tim? Well, next we want to find the area of the two circles. And we can simplify that by just finding the area of one circle and multiplying it by two. Okay, so we I'm going to use pi r squared for our circle, and I'm I'm seeing like you said the radius is is seven, so r squared is forty nine, and you said we have two circles, so one circle is um, forty nine pi, right? Mm -hmm, right? Two circles. How would you explain what two circles is? Two circles would just be the area multiplied by two, which is forty nine times two is ninety eight. Pi. So here we have 49 groups of pi, now we have double that, 98 groups of pi. Right. Now let's bring it all together, Tim. How do we find the area of the shaded region? Well, to find the area between, we want to take the whole area and subtract what's not shaded. And the circles are not shaded. So we're going to take 392 and subtract the area of both circles, which is 98 pi. 98 pi. Okay, so I guess we can say, you know, if you have the area of the rectangle, that's everything. You cut out or take away the circles, and what's left is your shaded region. Right. Now this is our answer in terms of pi, but um, sometimes we estimate pi to different numbers. So if I say pi is about 3, for example, then we get 392 minus 98 times 3. For 98 times 3, I'm just going to do 3 times 100, right. which is 300, and that's too large. It's, um, so I'm going to take away 6, right? Because mm -hmm. 3 times 2 is 6, and that's the difference between, 2 is the difference between 100 and 98. So that's 294, I believe. Mm -hmm. 392 minus 294. How would you do that in your head? That's, that's a, a tough one. I would subtract 300 and then add 6. So 300, uh, 392 minus 300, that's 92. And you're saying then we have 6 more. Right. So that's 98. Right. Yeah, okay. Very nice. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. Thanks, Sean. All right, see you later.